Hello guys, welcome to the very first session of developing a console based banking application using Java programming language. Now till now on this channel I have uploaded many courses so you can just see like I have uploaded uh, the C programming language uh, course then Java programming language course and then uh, some of the angular sessions some of the uh, e-commerce projects so in the uh, last project that we worked on is e-commerce project using angular and spring boot so we worked uh, on on that project from scratch and alongside there are many different sessions uh, are present on my channel so you can just visit to my channel and you can just check out those uh, sessions now today onwards we are going to start a new project which will be a console based application now let me just clear you one thing when i say console based what does it mean by exactly so console based application is an application where we don't have any ui where we don't have any kind of databases we will be writing only pure java uh, programming language code and with the help of the code we are just going to execute or we are just going to uh, like write one small project and we are just execute we are just going to execute that a small project so let me just quickly tell you how it will be looking like so this is how we are going to write one simple java application it will be a pure java application no database no ui so in order to run this we just have to uh, run the main method and uh, on this um, uh, console uh, on this like intellij console or maybe if you are using any sts or eclipse or maybe if you are just using a notepad then you might be using the command prompt or terminal so whatever um, application or ide you are using based upon that uh, we will be getting some terminal and on this terminal on this console we have to execute uh, this project now let me just tell you first thing why we are going to work on this project because nowadays we have a lot of technologies we have a lot of um, uh, like front-end technologies databases but why we are going to work on these projects what is the need of this project so let me just tell you previously we worked on e-commerce application right so we worked on some of the uh, e-commerce application you can just check out this particular uh, series so we worked on this e-commerce application and in that e-commerce application we used um, some of the like angular uis then we use a uh, spring boot framework and then we use uh, mysql database also we like com developed completely full stack application but by reading the comments uh, on that courses i got one thing that many of the people have the knowledge on angular on the spring side and on the database side as well but many of the people are uh, many of the people like don't understand the basic concepts of java right so by reading the comments i got to understand these like many of the people are still um, don't understand some of the basic concepts like collection framework and then typecasting and then uh, like uh, some of the operators like ternary operators still many of the people get confused uh, while using those concepts right so overall like before uh, like uh, working on any big project we must have to clear that we must have to work on some of the basic java concepts right so uh, we must have to clear all the basic java concepts then and only then we can just work on some of the big projects so that is the reason i'm just going to work on this particular series so in this series what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write a pure Java uh, code and we are just going to understand some of the basic concepts like collection framework and all. So it will help us to increase the knowledge in the Java programming language and later we can use this knowledge to develop the uh, big projects like whatever we implemented in the uh, till the previous session. So again in this session I'm just going to show you the demo like what are we going to uh, do exactly in this series again i'm just not going to demo the application fully because it might take a lot of time but let me just uh, quickly give you some of the idea so once you run the application you might get uh, some of these kind of terminal in a intellij or maybe in your eclipse or uh, in your command prompt here it will ask like username and a password now let me just enter username over here like admin so okay so this view is read only so let me just do one thing let me just click on settings view mode and doc pinned now let me just hit the enter and let me just put the password as an admin and you can just see uh, we are logged in into a system and for the admin we have multiple options so admin can create a new account like it is a customer account then admin can check transactions then admin can check someone's bank balance and if uh, some customers have raised a checkbook request then admin can approve those checkbook requests so these are the four options we have provided for the admin obviously this is not going to be a very big application because we don't have any ui and all so that is the reason we have very minimal options uh, for the admin 
but in these minimal options we are going to learn a lot of different things now let me just hit the exit like option like let me just uh, enter the five and hit the enter and again it will ask me for the username and password so if someone is locked out then we can again if you want we can just again log into the system right so this is basically a cycle uh, which we are going to uh, produce over here now this time let me just log in with the customer's account so let me just hit the username as u2 and password as u2 and again for the customer we have multiple options for the customer we have options like check bank balance um, then transfer money to other account then see all the transactions and apply for the checkbook and again we have last option as an exit so if you just notice for the admin we have different options and for the uh, customer we have the different options so in total we have like um, great amount of operations over here again uh, as i said this is only console based application we don't have any databases and all so whatever data we are just going to store we are just going to store into a collection itself into a java collection itself like list and uh, map and everything so we are just going to use that collection so this is not a persistent application so when i say persistent it basically means that we are not going to store any data uh, permanently as uh, we are just going to use a collection framework because whatever operations you will perform over here if you just hit the restart button if you just restart the application then you have to start it from the scratch so make sure like uh, you have this concept in your mind right so this is how we are going to develop the application uh, and again as i said uh, with the help of application we are going to learn a lot of basic things over here so if you still have any questions let me know into a comment section and i will try my best to help out in that case so make sure that you are just following this particular series because you are going to get a lot of from this particular series so i hope you will enjoy you have enjoyed this session and you will enjoy this series also so thank you for watching this session and i'll see you in the next session